Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on compound growth and decay. In this video we'll be looking at a specific skill which is finding the number of time periods or n. Uh, so this is relating to the compound growth and decay formula which if you haven't seen the other two videos yet I suggest you watch uh, but I'll rewrite the formula here. Uh, it's n equals n0 times 1 plus or minus the percent increase or decrease divided by 100 to the power of n. So we're specifically interested in this value n. So in this example, a train ticket from Leeds to Liverpool costs £50. The ticket increases in price at a rate of 10% per year. How many years will it take for the train ticket to have a future cost of £80? And we have to give this answer to the nearest year. So let's put these values into the formula first of all. Uh, so we're looking for the amount of years it will take to have a future cost of £80. Uh, so the amount after that time period is going to be 80 And then our original amount, and not is 50 and then it's times one plus in this case because we're dealing with a price increase uh, and that rate of change is 10% per year so 10 divided by 100 now we want values of n so essentially what we have to do here is substitute in values of n uh, to this formula or specifically this uh, part of the formula and then once we substitute in these values we're looking for one that gives us a future cost beyond 80 uh, so uh, let's start with n equals 1 uh, so if we put in everything into the calculator, I'll just move this across. Uh, so we have 50 times 1 plus 10 over 100. Close the brackets. And that's just to the power 1 for now. Uh, so that's a cost of £55 after one year. So after one year, we can say that the cost is £55. Now clearly that's a way off. So what if we try n equals 3? Uh, well, what does that give us? Uh, so let's just delete the one on the end, change it to a three. That gives us £66.55, so we're not there yet. What about n equals four? Okay, £73.21. Uh, so we're not quite there yet. Uh, what about n equals five? So if we plug in five to the uh, power, Okay, so we've got a cost of £80.53 and pence here. So £80.53, and pence. now that's uh, greater than £80. Whoops. So yeah, that's greater than this value here of £80. So to the nearest year, uh, we can say that after five years, uh, the cost will be greater than £80. Now compound growth and decay is a skill that takes some practice, especially using the formula. Uh, so you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to practice with. Uh, so you get instant feedback on each and every question, which is really useful if you want to keep track of the areas that you're weakest at and find out where you need to improve. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and take the test today. It'll take you straight there.